I proudly own, walk, and feed the stupidest dog in the world. <laughs> Who's got a dog? Hands up. Who has a dog out there? Everybody has dogs. I'll tell you a dog story. We had a wonderfully affectionate, delightfully intelligent, mixed breed terrier husky mutt. We got her from the dog pound. We had her for 16 years. We buried her in the backyard a year ago, July. No, no, she wasn't dead, just wouldn't stop barking. <laughs> no, she was 16, which for a dog is quite old. When you lose a pet like that, it tears a hole in your heart that does not mend. You mourn them as family members because they're members of your family. Typically, you wait some time before moving on. We waited six months. We got a new dog six months ago from the Jeffersonville, Indiana Animal Rescue Shelter. Or as you're aware, when you get a shelter animal, it has infirmities. The coat needs grooming, or it's malnourished in some way. This dog has a lazy eye, an overbite, and she smokes three packs of camels a day. <laughs> you have a dog, ma'am? Did you ever have a dog as a kid? What was your dog's name as a kid? Hoosier. Hoosier. You're from Indiana, by chance? Well, that makes perfect sense. See, that makes sense. Our dog's name is Lady. <laughs> She's called Lady because disobedient shedding poop machine was already taken. <laughs> I have to know, is Hoosier a smart dog or a dumb dog? Smart, I'm so happy to tell you. I proudly own, walk, and feed the stupidest dog in the world. Here's how stupid my dog is. Every morning for the last six months, Lady has done this. She wakes up promptly at 4.45 a.m. A.m. She shakes her collar with all the metal tags on it so that everyone can share in her morning experience. She comes downstairs, goes into the kitchen, sees her reflection in the stove, and barks at herself. Because she truly believes that I have her twin sister trapped in the oven. Her brain is the size of a Tic Tac. She sheds like a snowblower. She doesn't know who I am.